Hi there. Welcome to another episode. I'm Sean and I'm in Bogota, Colombia. And I'm pulling up my phone. I get a lot of warnings not to do that. So I'm gonna make this quick. Welcome to another episode. Is Colombia safe? Hola from Bogota, Colombia. And I'm doing this from my room, which I rarely do. I've been here almost, I think, going on four weeks. Um, I was, I've been in Bogota for two weeks and then I went to Medellin and now I'm back in Bogota. And the big overall feeling that I've never felt anywhere in the last 11 years of traveling is unsafe. And is Colombia safe? Absolutely not. And I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but it's not. And that comes from the front desk clerk uh, at the hotel, the Uber driver, the stranger that I meet, my friends. I did have a run-in at the beginning of my trip. I met someone, I thought it was okay, and it became a really uncomfortable situation when they demanded money. So, I had to get the hotel involved and possibly calling the police, and I just ended up just giving them money to get rid of them. I'm really kind of embarrassed about that, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it happened. And I think that really fucked with my, my psyche a lot, like going forward. I tried to be positive and move forward, but that, that kind of stuff just, you know. And I think the first two weeks it was, um, it fucked with my head, to be honest. And so, you know, just going out and getting things was an issue for me. And I think, that compounded from coming out of the pandemic and being affected by all of that because I've never lived in fear until the pandemic and that fear wasn't for myself but for my mother I realized a lot of protecting her and you know that's a completely different story but I think you know compounded with all of that and trying to get back into the swing of things of traveling has been really difficult mentally tough. So I reconnected with Juan and Jeanette, two of the most amazing people I've met in my travels in Romania. We lived and worked together there. You know, the constant like checking in and making sure that we're gonna meet, I, you know, that's something I totally appreciate. And so I met with Juan and in Bogota and he showed me around and I think that was the first day after like a week and a half of being here that I felt okay being outside. And made me a little more comfortable and honestly I'd already booked a flight to go to Medellin to see Jeanette and that was not something after a few days after I booked it I was just gonna let it go. I just did not feel safe. Be careful. It's dangerous. No, don't have your phone out. Don't uh, have your wallet visible. You know, don't speak to strangers. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but that, you know, after a while that gets into your psyche and really affects the way you're moving, you know, mentally and traveling and moving around or exploring. And so that did a number on me, to be honest. After meeting Juan, it reminded me of how much I miss interacting with my travelers and these are, are the people who are there for me you know if not physically that here's an opportunity and i should take it so i ended up using that ticket to medellin and were the best decision ever because i got there and reconnected with jeanette and it was awesome it was wonderful it was a i wish i had you know planned it out better because i really had an amazing time in you know exploring with her uh guarape and climbing you know it's 650 steps plus the 200 getting there and and she's just you know positive you know motivating loving respectful thoughtful anything you could think of we just connected it was amazing 
It was beautiful, you know. It's just what I needed, I think, coming out of the pandemic and being, you know, solo, you know, living that nomad life. I think I've really just embraced that a little too much. And that's fine, but it's really necessary to, to connect with positive people. Jeanette was that for me. And it was, it was just uh, four days, but it was just wonderful. And uh, you know, I kept questioning, why didn't I do this longer? Like, why didn't I book a longer stay? And I know it's because I was thinking I was just gonna go see her and then take off back to New York because I just did not feel safe. You know, not going out at night is a big deal for me. I walk at night, I exercise at night, I love dancing, I love going to the clubs and checking out the nightlife. Every time I wanted to do that, someone was just like, someone would say, well, be careful, you know, the club is four blocks away, but make sure you take a taxi and speak to no one and, you know, watch your drink or don't drink and it's just too much. But safety is a big deal and it really affected me on this trip and, you know, I'm disappointed about that. It's a really beautiful country. It's stunning. I mean, Medellin is beautiful. The mountains at night, the lights, it's lit up. You know, um, Bogota is beautiful too, but again, you know, that, you know, don't go out late and watch your stuff and don't speak to strangers. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of that and it really took a toll on me. You know, you just have to be, as I say, careful. I don't know, I apply that anywhere in traveling. You know, I always keep my wallet in my front pocket or in my bag, very deep. I never take my passport, that's always locked up in my room. I was born in Guyana, South America. I don't feel comfortable here. I'm not sure if I would come back. I mean, I'm hearing the same kind of stories of Brazil. So I'm not sure, but I want, I would love to see Brazil and other countries in South America. But as of now, I'm looking forward to being back in the States. Um, I go out at night, I work out at night, I walk at night, I love that. and. So yeah, I'm gonna head back home. So in a nutshell, no. Colombia is not safe, does not feel safe. I like my freedom. I like to go and come as I please. I don't get dressed up, I don't wear jewelry, but I know that I stick out, you know? I, so yeah, that said, I would say do it, but not as a solo traveler. I don't think this is set up. I don't think Colombia is set up for solo travelers. If I were going to travel, I think to Colombia or uh, South America, I think I'd like to get a partner and do it because this is, it doesn't feel good doing this alone and having to hide. That's not who I am. You know, living in fear is not my thing. and. You know, I've been struggling with that since the pandemic. I've been, I had to let go a lot and deal with family and let them go and let all of that go. So that said, I am not feeling safe here. Um, I do love the country. The food is amazing. The people smile. That I'm leaving it off at, right here. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. Remember, if something is not working for you, change it and God bless.